here with second year man leader of the Blue Hens, Dave Brock. Thank you so much for, for joining us. And uh, last season was, was your first year in Newark. So as you sit here heading into year number two, what's the biggest difference so far for you uh, between year one and now year two? I think the biggest difference is my, my comfort level in, in terms of all aspects of the program. Not only do you have a, a, a defined relationship with all the players on the team, uh, I'll have a, a full recruiting class that, that myself and, and, and our staff recruited and, and brought to the University of Delaware. Uh, and, and also, yeah, now I have a, a, a true working relationship with all the people on campus who touch our players' lives every day, whether it's the team doctors, the trainers. The, you know, uh, we've made some great improvements. We were able to hire a new strength coach, uh, Ted Perlack, who's done a fantastic job since he's been there. The players love him. Energy level in the rooms like nothing I've ever seen. So I, I'm. I'm really, really excited about the direction we're going, and, and again, the comfort level is, is where it needs to be. The guys are doing a great job and working hard, and, and we're ready to move on. In your first season as head coach, you got the team off to an outstanding start of the year. Seven and two after the win on the road, come from behind victory at Towson. We're unable to close out the season, losing the final three games of the year. What did the team, what did the staff learn from those final three weeks of the year? Well, I, I think that, that you know, opportunity is what you make of it. Uh, you know, we had a chance to be a playoff team, which is our goal, uh, and, and will continue to be our goal. I think I think Delaware should be a playoff team every year, mm -hmm. and and that's how we're going to look at it. Um, you know, we're we're going to try and put ourselves in a position this year where we can close out games. We, we've tried to make things, uh, workouts, practices more competitive, uh, more consequences, those types of things. And and I think it starts with me. I think it starts with the coaching staff doing a better job, and then our our players have to do a better job. We have to play certain situations better. Uh, but I, I also think it, it gives you a little bit of a window to, to what we can be and, and, you know, find a way to make two or three plays. And, you know, we could be nine and three and six and two in the league. And, you know, we didn't and, and we weren't. So the immediacy of it is, is certainly uh, a factor in our program, you know, and, and I think there's a little bit of, of motivation from that. And, and, you know, these kids are starving to be in the playoffs and, and uh, you know, we want them to have a great year. You came in last year uh, and talked about the excitement that you're going to bring on offense. You're going to try to put up a, a lot of points, and boy, did, did you deliver on that promise. Second in the CAA in points per game. you got a quarterback now in Trent Hurley that's going to be a three-year start. What are the benefits uh, for Trent and for any quarterback to be able to be in a system and get that type of experience? Well, I think when you look at, at you know, a, a comfort level for a coach, you know, a, a, an experienced, talented quarterback is certainly what you want to start with, and we have that with Trent. Uh, he's a very efficient guy, very, very smart. Uh, you know, put us in a position to win a lot of football games last year. And, and uh, you know, he had spring practice going into this season. We, we didn't even have him for spring practice last year. Uh, it was night and day. I mean, he has total command of what we're doing offensively. Uh, really, really did a great job with the other players, just helping the younger players not only understand what we want to do, but how we want to do it. Uh, and he's done a terrific job. So I, I feel great about him. I feel great about how he'll lead the offense. And, and even though we made a, a monumental leap from, from 2012 to 2013, we're expecting another leap you know, this year offensively. And, and uh, that'll help us win and, and certainly what we need. Now, as many points as your team was scoring, at times it was hard for the defense to, to keep the other team from, from doing the same. Uh, where do you need to improve the most uh, defensively for 2014? Well, again, I think we have to go and, and, and you know, start with fundamentals. And, and, you know, we'll have a lot of experienced players back. We have a lot of guys who, who hadn't played or hadn't practiced that played last year. None of those things are going to be factors. So I, I think experience and, and guys getting off to a, a successful start is going to be really, really important to us. They had a great spring. They've had a, a, a great summertime. And, and we just need to really work hard at it. And, and schematically, we need to put our guys in better position. Uh, certainly, the, the opportunity for the biggest jump successfully for, for this season comes on the defensive side of the ball. And we have to make those improvements. And, and everybody in the program knows that. All right. Well, best of luck to you in year number two in, in Newark. I'll be with you along the way. It starts August 30th in Pittsburgh. Thanks, man. Go Hens. <laughs>